So for this question then, we're given the curve with equation y equals 2 times the natural log of all of 8 minus x. And it meets the straight line y equals x at the single point x equals alpha. And we're asked to show that alpha lies between 3 and 4. Now in order to do this, the method I'm going to be using is a change in sign method. What I need to do is state that at the point of intersection we know that the y values are going to be equal. So at that point of intersection x will equal 2 times the natural log of all of 8 minus x. And then I'm going to subtract x from both sides so I get an equation that equals 0. And I'm going to let the left hand side of this equation be f of x. So we've got f of x equaling that left hand side. Now if I was to draw this graph, not that I know what the curve looks like, I'm just going to set up some axes here, okay? I'm not saying this graph is going to be accurate in any way. Let's imagine then that this is the point 3 here and we've got the point 4 here, alright? Not drawn to scale then what I'm going to be doing is checking the value of f of 3, see whether it's positive or negative, and the value of f of 4, again checking to see whether it's positive or negative. And what I'm hoping for is that across this interval there'll be a change in sign. That is the graph either goes from a positive value to a negative value or from a negative value to a positive value. And that will indicate to me that assuming then that the curve is continuous, there's no breaks in it, that there will be a root, which is alpha, in this interval. All right? So we now have to go on and find out f of 3 and f of 4. So if you put 3 as our x value into here, you're going to have 2 times the natural log of 5 minus 3. Work that out on your calculator and you'll find it comes out to a positive value, 0 0.2188 and so on. And when I work out f of 4, then we do indeed get a negative value now, minus 1.2274 and so on. So what I've got here then is a curve that at 3 it's a positive value. Okay, let's just say it's there. At 4 it turns out to be a negative value. Let's say it's there. So our curve, I don't know what it looks like, but it's, maybe it's that kind of curve. Who knows? But what I do know is that knowing it, that it's continuous, that there must be a root then where it crosses the x-axis, where it equals 0 here, that root is alpha and it lies between 3 and 4. Now you don't need to draw this graph on here, but you do need to be able to show that there is a change in sign and you need to write a conclusion. Something along these kind of lines. That there is a root alpha in the interval 3, 4, since there is a change in sign and the curve is continuous over that interval. It's important then that you get the fact that there is a change in sign and also there's no break in the curve, that it's continuous across that interval. So do state those facts. Okay, so I hope that's been able to help you if it caused any problems.